every single day as a teacher broadcaster I need to share information. One of the ways I do that is to use images and often collages. So to get cracking what we have here is start to finish of a Google Picasa collage. Now I've started off with uh, something really simple which is five photographs of Wilson. So let me tell you how this is going to work. First thing, what I want to do is do a quick edit on the photo, and I'm going to go as quickly as possible, and then you know rewatch it or something like that. So, in other words, um, I'm going to crop the image. Now, I already have something in, you know, an idea in my head of what I want to give you, which is five photographs of Wilson on a collage background. So, you'll notice I'm not doing any saving here. All I've done is a crop, and I'm going to go to the second highlight so I'm going to make that as bright as possible without losing color and then bring some shadows that I do and then I'm not doing any saves at all and I will I'm just, I'll tell you what I'm just gonna try this uh, and the, I just love the autumnish look you wait until you see this yeah that's that's right I'll go with that can you see what's happened there I'm not going to touch any bloom brightness uh, I'm going to apply it and I'm just going to exactly the same with the same images so next image crop just dragging I'm not even using a mouse I've got a laptop with a, a trackpad just saying it as I do it apply highlight shadow I do and option autumn regardless of how it works just leave it on default next image oh that one's gone off so in other words when I say gone off I think what I might do on this one is just straighten it and yeah that do wouldn't it and then go to crop again notice I'm using a manual crop which allows me to define the aspect ratio because that's what manual is then we go on to just remember this highlight as much as I can, that do shadows, you can see and also the, the working time speed, how long it takes me that do, it just gives it like, like a crisp look option, autumn wait to refine and apply next image we've got to go to crop One of the ways of working on this is because it's honestly so easy. I possess all the Photoshop stuff, never use it, apart from the odd edit, which is very, very, very seldom. So, highlight, shadow, over to Autumn, apply, and I think we've got one more. Now, the, the second, the last, last one here, I've got something in my mind what I want to do with this one, so I'm going to make it like a really tight crop. Um, so to just show you the closer angle of Wilson now you notice mm, just got those angles yeah that do why not it's almost a square in actual fact I want that as a square so I'm gonna make sure it's a square and just select square CD cover um, bring that into see if I can get in. I, I like quite like tight cropping because it doesn't waste any space let's bring that over probably the most fiddly bit I've done so far isn't it really if you think about it so yeah have that as a square autumn actually have I done any I've just forgotten that I'm not sure that I've done any brightness highlights yet okay so there it is anything you do can undo it okay and that will do and now this time I'm going to go back to the library and you'll notice oh so yes I will apply those changes back to the library and there are my photographs so now what I'm going to do I'm just going to wind it down a little bit so you can see there are just five images and left mouse button click and select all the images you'll see like a little blue box around them second option over first one is play slideshow second one is create collage and there is the collage uh, ready to go now what I'll do is select them all, it'll go red and then I'll get this size circle right click on that and it will be a line rotation to 
0 and then all of them as they're all selected I'm just going to make them go smaller and then start dragging around to see where I want that one in the middle I want Wilson maybe underneath uh, so let's think I'd look at it that way I can't think which one it is now I think it's slightly over uh, so I'm just, just making it something that looks relatively okay I mean this is an example isn't it I still want it to look relatively okay let's have a look let's get that one down at the bottom maybe you know, please tell me what you think looks good at the moment it doesn't look it looks weird but again it is an example isn't it let's have a look um, well, all I'm looking to is, is to balance something up that looks kind of okay so let's think I've got two squares in actual fact I've got three squares at the top haven't I it was an example let's drop that one down and then I'm going to select those two and bring those over. Can you see that it's starting to create you know a little bit of shape like that mm, not bad okay let's bring that one to the left select both again that's nearly there that'll do wouldn't it okay let's make it slightly bigger it's begging to sort of come up a little bit isn't it don't know don't know don't know let's make that slightly smudge let's put that in the middle like that what about background color maybe something like do what let's just leave it let's leave it create the collage you know one of the things I'm, I'm doing here is just working as fast as I can because I want to get the post out in this example so Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then I'm going to go back and I'll put some text on there, and it's really simple text. And I'm going to drop down of a font that I use quite a lot. You can use the same one, by all means. It's freely available on the web, and it's called Angelina and Wilson. Okay, and then I'm going to use a two degree left rotation. Just dragging this down. There you go, that'll do. I'm going to put Wilson in like that. Leave it about there. Click off, that doesn't look right. Make it a little bit bigger. I think, notice on the left hand side, I can just drag it. That's, that's not too bad, is it? Lost the rotation. There you go, that'll do. Put that into there like that. Apply. I want another piece of text, just my piece of text on here. Going back to Arial. There it is. Type, click anywhere for the moment. Google.com forward slash Mike Downs. You notice that's quite big at the moment. Bring it really, really small. Really small. Put it just in there. I think a little bit bigger. Don't think I'm going to put a date on this one, you can get the idea. Okay, next thing we're going to do is apply, then I'm going to crop. Notice I'm still on square at the moment, take off square. I just want to come it sort of quite tight on the top. Bring in left. Take down bottom. Say so I'm quite rushing that. Okay, that do wouldn't it? Next thing we're going to do is save a copy. Now you notice at the moment that's three thousand two hundred and one wide. And I'll just see if I can make that a little bit smaller. Right, that's saved. And the next thing I'm going to do is upload it to Google Plus and show you. So for the time being, what I've taken is five photographs. Um, all the way down to the collage using Picasa 3.9. So next time you see it will be in the stream with the photograph and what I normally do is I use file export to folder. Now I can't file at the moment because it will be showing my email at the address at the top so it's signing with your Google account and then I use export to folder and I use a Google Drive folder. So any questions just let me know.